background right now you can hear the CNC machine running. It's making a rectifier board uh, which will be able to hold 48 rectifiers. When I'm heating these uh, wires to strip the enamel, I'm very careful to just move to the tip of the wire so that it doesn't burn too far back. And with these 23 gauge, you just have to touch it for a split second. It's still important to make sure you clean off the uh, uh, burn or charcoal enamel that's on there. This does make it a lot easier to clean. And then on the 23 gauge, I'm uh, bending this over to kind of double it up. It makes it a little easier to solder into the white clip. Feed the solder in the back just until I see it come up the front of the uh, part where the wire sticks in. So I'm snugging these white connectors up just barely. And bending the tips uh, close together. That way, if this was to ever uh, come loose, uh, it would just turn on there and it wouldn't pop completely off. Because the starts are uh, coiled up in these little coils as such here, where they came off of the coil winder. I left them that way. Uh, for identification. I will be able to know what's what by looking at them. For instance, um, they'll start from the stop top A, B, C, D, E. This will be A1 start, A1 finish, A2 start, A2 finish, B1 start, B1 finish, B2 start, B2 finish. If you'll see, I've kind of labeled these. Then on every other stator, which this is modular, you can add as many stators to this unit as you want. Every other stator has, a, has the different uh, gauge coil as the leading coil. For instance, in this coil, A1 is 18 gauge, A2 is 23 gauge. The next one over will be A1 23 gauge and A2 18. The 18 gauge is your current. 23 gauge is your voltage. So one will be leading with current, one will be leading with voltage and alternating between stators. The DC current will only be able to flow in the direction that makes it work for the push, pull, pulse. Each of these coil sets 
One of the tests I'm going to do, and probably the final configuration, is forward biasing by using a diode. A diode can be placed between the two coil sets. That diode will only be effective when the DC pulse is applied. That way the push-pull is not bucked in any way from the DC current. This is in pulse mode. This might have to be somewhere in this area. Where that moves to. With the diode configuration, I'm going to hook it to the eight to start. To finish. Then we have a diode. That makes the bias the voltage bias between them. truth. This extra coil winder that I have 
I most likely will never use this thing again. Works works very well. Um, if you're going to wind some uh, coils by hand, this makes life a lot easier. If some, somebody wanted this, if you wanted to pay half price, you know, look it up, see what they're selling for, pay the shipping, I'd be more than happy to ship it to you. Doing the research that I do is very expensive. Well, expensive for me because I have a very low income. But I'm not doing this for personal gain. I'm doing this because I believe that I can make the world a better place. I thought if I put this on a YouTube channel that I would be able to pick up some supporters and some people that are interested, which, which I have. But the internet is so polluted with the garbage, fake videos or the guys out there who are making a fake device and trying to get rich from it by selling their idea or selling plans. Don't buy plans for these devices. If this is doable, I will do it. Or I will die trying. All of the fake free energy videos, which there's thousands of them on YouTube, they're really put there to discredit the guys that are doing real research, getting real results. I don't believe you have to defy the laws of physics or the rules of thermodynamics or the law of energy conservation. I believe, you know, the earth is spinning, has been spinning for a long time. I believe perpetual motion is probably not possible. I do believe extended motion is very possible. I think over unity is right in front of our face. The human body is over unity. If you look at the input, the food we eat, versus the work that the human body can do, that would be an extreme example of overunity. Each of them will be wired with its own patch panel so that we can work with some various configurations of inputs and outputs. As you can see, the other ones are pretty much all laid out. All the coils are made. Lots and lots of hours of coil winding. Overall, it went pretty smooth. Um, huge amount of wiring here, but this will enable us to hook this up and do tests in a lot of different ways. One of the things I have uh, figured out is that with the push-pull configuration, if you do a forward biasing between the coils, it enhances the pressure. There's my five, five rotors. They're all balanced up. I will be coating them with some epoxy or something to keep the moisture out of them and better secure the magnets on them. But I'm getting really close to putting this final machine together, so hopefully uh, we'll get some more subscribers. Any support would be tremendously appreciated. This is the coil winding machine that I use to create the coils for my stator. For those of you out there doing energy research that need coils made, this is an invaluable piece of equipment. to come in so I'm going to hold off on the rest of my epoxy coating until then. Uh, I thought I'd throw it together and do a quick test run just to test the 
different input efficiencies. Um, this is one of the better ones for a low RPM run. Um, you can see my huge mess here. So I'm probably going to tear this thing back down and uh, set it aside and clean up the shop here until I get other parts in. Running off of a uh, M235 transistor, I believe. Um, tried a bunch of other stuff, relays, read switches, and um, unfortunately, power-wise, the read switches are the most efficient of anything I've tried. And let's see what we're getting RPMs with this. Set up. Oops. That's only running about 170 RPM. I believe I can gain some efficiency with the push pull across the uh, different uh, stators. You'll notice. This allows me to be able to put in a extra component um, anywhere I want across anything to, anything oh, against want. it, but they have a hole in them that will accommodate another banana plug so you can daisy chain these things forever. It's going to take 200 wires to do every test I want. I'm going to set up a board of Rectifiers. So you can see, uh, we got a bunch of those. Okay, let's see if we can set the meter up here. I'm gonna put it on volts DC. Or I'm sorry, maybe we better put it on AC since we're checking AC. which I've had this thing up to 1100 RPMs. It's uh, way more voltage than I want. says anything. Amps times volts equals watts. And that's all that matters in the end is how many watts you're putting in, how many watts you're taking out. And for anyone working with this type of stuff, you need to understand amps times volts equals watts.
actually draws more. Not blue. 